All right, y'all. I had to pull out my old trusty, dusty, very dusty <laughs> camera because my that that computer's getting the best of me. All right, so whoo, yeah, yeah. Two. I mean, uh, well, it is a two. The high, the high priest is here with the three of swords here. So someone knows that they either have to heal or someone knows that they have to sever some sort of connection. Magician here, they knows that someone knows that there's some action to be taken. You might need to take some sort of action, trusting your intuition and severing some sort of connection. Um, or healing. Some of you guys may need to be healing from some sort of heartbreak. King of Wands here, good old snake charmer here. I feel like with the King of Wands here, there's uh, you are may needing to master your own desires here. Um, you need to be in the space of this king of wands energy focusing on what drives you that's why this fire is coming out of his chest it's focusing on what drives you six of pentacles here in order to bring balance to your foundation for some of you guys this could have to do with your with your uh, money finances for others of you this is about a situation where there needs to be some sort of reciprocity the six of pentacles is is a balance it's even um effort even pentacles even even all the way around uh page of pentacles here i feel like for some of you guys that this, this may require like effort page of pentacles is effort it requires some sort of effort here five of pentacles here um a change within a foundation so some of you guys have been dealing with the lack because there's no re reciprocity um there's no even give and take and i feel like you know that you'll need to sever that uh ace of wands in reverse this is about turning down an opportunity here so you may have a king of wands that's coming in to offer you something but for some of you guys it may be something you need to turn down especially if they're only offering you something that's a lack that's not reciprocal Capricorn energy here with the devil um, some of you guys this is a toxic situation an ego based situation money this is money this is about money so someone could be coming in and offering you a little change you know what I'm saying um, offering you some money Ace of Pentacles, yeah someone could be coming in to offer you some money and you may need to see clearly that this is this could lead to some sort of betrayal especially if they're asking you to invest for some of you guys i don't know if someone's scamming you or um, if this is someone you know this could be like a uh, someone manipulating you to get something out of you you have an opportunity here that could lead to 10 pinnacles but in order to have that opportunity you need to change what is not reciprocal so if you've been dealing with someone say for instance you're dealing with somebody that's consistently asking you for money ask them for some motherfucking money and if they don't give it to you cut the cut the connection because that means that they're only you know maybe they don't have it true enough maybe they don't have it but for sometimes it's like people expect things from you that they would never give to you you feel me double energy popped out twice some of you guys are dealing with um could be definitely dealing with Capricorn, but this is about dealing with some toxic behavior, um, overcoming toxic behavior. Some of you guys are being tempted. This could even be a situation where a person only wants to deal with you if you have something to give them. See, they're wanting this, this, this uh, golden apple, and you may be the motherfucking golden apple. All right, what other messages do we have for the connection? Or right. I've got all pinnacles. So whatever this is, this is about money. Eight of pinnacles here. This is about money. Um, some of you guys are dealing with a lust-based, money-based sort of situation. Eight of Pentacles here. Something is a bad investment. Five Swords is underneath this with this Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are dealing with something that's not a good investment. It's taking your money. Okay? This, is, this could definitely be someone that is only requesting your money. And now you may be seeing that you need to sever this. If they're not requesting just your money, they want nothing but your time. They want... And it's okay... Let me rephrase that. They want all of your time. Like every time you get free time, come do this, come do this, come do this. It's always one-sided. Some of you guys are dealing with a one-sided situation, a situation that in order for it to become reciprocal needs to change. There's an opportunity that needs to be turned down. Someone may be extending an olive branch, but it's not an olive branch. It's just an opportunity for them to excel. So someone may want to come back into your life just because it's beneficial to them. And I don't even know for some of you guys, this may not be coming back. Someone wants you to invest into them because they feel as though you're beneficial to them. And this may be a masculine energy um, that is going through this. Or this may be a woman that is desiring a masculine energy that only provides. It's a lust-based connection. Meaning they only want them because they see money. 
So either you're a man that's dealing with someone that only wants you because they see money or you're a woman that only desires a man because you see money and you know. And maybe the reason why you only want them because of money because you see that they may be in their ego. They may only be uh, material based and maybe you feel as though they're going to break your heart. What other messages do we have? So I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with a situation you know it's going to be heartbreaking. Or you have been. Because Tower of Ten of Pentacles, I mean Tower of Ten of Swords, some of you guys all of a sudden are going to end this. Maybe you're seeing that it's not good. Maybe you're seeing that it's not beneficial for you. Strength here, finding the strength to overcome. The strength, strength overcomes the devil. Strength overcomes the devil. All day long. So some of you guys are finding the strength to overcome some sort of lust-based situation. Something that was a bad choice. An unwise decision. Nine swords here. But there's a lot of anxiety that's going along with this. Your anxiety is keeping you hung up. Because for some of you guys, especially, say for instance, you know, some men get in situations where they deal with women that are material-based. Meaning you got to take care of me or, you know... It's not going to work. And there, someone may have their value wrapped up in this, especially with the ego and the eight of pentacles. This might be something that they're working on within their own, uh, like work, this is something like within their own value that they're working on. And I feel like someone needs to change perspective. I feel like you know that you're dealing with a situation that's going to break your heart. And it's up to you to overcome this temptation. Like you could even be dealing with someone that, uh, like I said, a money, this is all money. This is all money. And this isn't money as in job. This is not because this is a desire. King of Wands is all about desire. So you have a man that, you could have a man even here that is desiring to have a new opportunity with some sort of investment. But needing to realize that they have to embrace the end of difficult situations. Say for instance, someone's turning down, taking action on an opportunity. Because you know how men be like, money over bitches, you know, money over bitches, which is asinine. Because if you get the right woman, she is going to bring more money. You feel what I'm saying? She's going to bring more abundance. But sometimes you get men that have this ego-based mindset because they've dealt with women who have taken them for face value. If if You got to look at the dynamic. If a man is only presenting himself as a baller, only presenting himself as someone who has nothing but money to offer, they're going to attract women who only want money. When a man actually sees his value and understands that his value does not lie within his pockets, then he attracts higher class women who are not after them for only their money or not after them for only ego-based things. So this is a, a, a man that is desiring some sort of financial stability, financial balance. And I feel like because of that devil energy here with the Eight of Pentacles, they're only investing in things that fit that. So this could even be a man that's only investing in things that bring money, not investing in, in actual things that create desire, create passion for them. Um, only things that create money, which is going to be a problem <laughs> because it's going to lead to heartbreak. It's going to lead to betrayal. High priestess, three of swords, you have to trust your intuition. If you're only, like, you know, we have two, a polarity within us. We have a higher self and an ego. The ego, some people's ego are, is based in lust. Some people's ego is based in power. Some people's ego is based in desire. But if you only allow your ego to shine, then you only attract ego-based shit. But if you're in this position of trying to, ex you know, evolve past that, but you're not allowing yourself to invest in anything else, turning down opportunities and only investing in that ego based thing, which is money. You're going to you're going to attract those ego based people who want the same thing that you want, which is money. OK, um, but the only difference is you won't attract them in a high vibration, meaning if you had a, a very and wanting money is not ego based. But if your only drive is to obtain material success and you're not allowing any other energy in then you're in a low vibration because you're closing yourself off to anything else you're closing yourself off there's four different types of energies that we deal with in life you deal with your passions you deal with your money your abundance you know stability you deal with your emotions and you deal with your mentality or your thought but if you're only investing in money you're allowing those other three energies to lack and when those other three energies lack that means you're in a ego based so you're only going to attract what comes with that. And nine times out of ten, you're going to attract leeches. Because people, there's a lot of people that are in a material-based reality. And they want what you got. 
So King of Wands here. Why is this King of Wands here? Why is this King of Wands here? This is definitely devil energy. Um, tower here. So someone here is bursting with passion. Tower with the King of Wands. There's there's going to be some sort of... You see all that? <sighs> there's going to be... For some of you guys, it could be... Uh, I don't know if I want to say overreacting. Uh, Ten Swords here. Even in the Ten Swords, there's like a lot. Someone's bursting through some sort of ceiling here. Um, could be a physical because this tower is physical, so be careful. Um, but I feel like this is more someone's bursting through their own ceilings. I feel like there's this actual actualization, this realization that's happening and someone's severing a connection because they may realize that they've only been dealing with people who want to drain them of their resources because they've only been focused on resources. So, Six of Pentacles here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? We have Four of Swords here. Yeah, someone's retreating from a situation that is not even. Situation that does not have um, even give and take. The four of swords is resting from strife. So someone has been trying, 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 trying. Maybe out here trying to be it, him, because it's a man. The only reason why I'm saying it, it's a man here. I don't have one woman on my on my layout. Um, but someone could be have been in an ego mindset, wanting to be that. You know what I'm saying? Four of swords here with the uh, six of pentacles here. Someone's retreating from a situation that's not balanced, something that is not bringing balance to their life. Why is this five of pentacles here? You know, the five of pentacles is it's lack. It's being left out in the cold. Um, it's karma. Now, justice here with the Five of Pentacles. So what you reap is what you sow. Someone here has sown seeds um, for to to be in this position. And there, yeah, someone has made decisions here that they felt were right, but that have created some sort of lack. So again, if you're in an material-based mindset and your whole goal in life is to get money, get money, get money. That's all you're going to get. You're not going to, you're going to attract people that only want to take money or attract people that want to get money with you. But in all in all, it doesn't mean that it's in a high vibration. Um, I feel like there's an opportunity that was presented with the Ace of Wands in reverse, but it's turned down. What is this Ace of Wands in reverse? Moon here, out of fear. Someone turned down an opportunity out of fear. Someone turned down an opportunity out of fear, being stuck in the dark, stuck with their emotions. It's nine of cups underneath here. Maybe someone was happy where they were, so they didn't see something as an opportunity. Ace of Pentacles here. Why is it Ace of Pentacles? You're being offered another. You're being offered another opportunity. Five of Cups in reverse, but you have to release your regret. You have to change the momentum of where you are emotionally. Eight of Wands here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have not been moving forward. There's been a lack of forward movement. Um, you have been dragging your feet. Listen, under that Eight of Swords in reverse is the Knight of Pentacles. You've been dragging your feet toward a solid opportunity. Maybe because you didn't see it as prosperous. The problem, I feel like, you know, when I do, I do a lot of readings. I do a lot of readings for men. And a lot of times I notice in the readings, because men see their value in what they have. They see their value in money. That they will literally turn away from anything that, that is not going to give them instant you know gratification which okay but the problem is a lot of times when you're dealing with spiritual connections or situations how do I put this what you're wanting what you think you want is not going to come the package that you think is going to come in like you might want to be rich be a millionaire but you may have an opportunity that does not seem like it's going to allow you to become that but that's the path but because you can't see it being prosperous at the moment you turn it away and i feel like it's not just men women do that as well if there's something isn't immediately desirable to them then they will turn it away like no that's not what i want not understanding that things change things happen like there are certain paths that you have to, have to take in it, and it may be dark. You don't know where you're going, but once you get on the path, you start to see, okay, this lighten up, this lighten up, because this is the path you're supposed to be on. But for some of you guys, you turn down a path, you turn down an opportunity out of fear. You, it was like a reflex. It was like, oh no, I don't know what's happening there. I'm gonna turn that down. I know what's happening over here. It's money over here, or so you thought. But literally, five pinnacles. There's a lack. So you may have money. You may be able to keep things balanced, but you're still at a lack, and that's karma because you didn't choose the path. It's like choosing love and money. Most people are going to choose money because they feel like they can see the money is there, it's solid. But in actuality, if you allow love in, 
money prospers as well because love is the energy that allows things to flow. So not only does love flow, money flows, passion flows, direction flows. You get into an alignment with a higher source. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. We're on the planet that thrives in the energy of love. It doesn't have to be romantic love. But the energy of love is how this planet thrives. So when you're in alignment with being love or in alignment with showing and expressing love in all forms, things begin to prosper for you. Things begin to grow for you. A lot of people don't understand that. They are strictly in the mindset of, well, seeing things one-sided. This is a planet where things thrive, so I got to thrive. Yes, you thrive, but there's a way that you thrive. Mother Earth doesn't thrive just by forcing shit to happen. Mother Earth allows flows. That's love. Love, unconditional love is is a uh, flow. It's just allowing things to be as they are. So devil energy here. We got uh We got Cancerian energy with the high priestess. We have Taurus is also uh, exalted with the high priestess um, because of the hierophant. The devil energy here is Capricorn energy. Uh, we got Scorpio energy here with the tower. And we also, and we also have Pluto energy, so there's Piscean energy. And we have strength energy, which is Leo. We got Cancerian energy with the moon, Scorpio energy again. Yeah, so why is this devil energy here? With those energies, I feel like someone is going... Because with Leo energy, that's things that you can see. That is something that is visible. Things where something was once hidden, now something is going to be seen. Just to see where else I got Libra energy here. I feel like there's going to be a balancing that happens because someone is going to realize that they have to put an end to their difficulties within their life. The end to the, a difficult way of thinking. Devil here. Why is this devil here? We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. I'm trying to tell you. That's extreme anxiety cruelty of the mind someone here has been really hard on themselves um and now trying to work through that three of ones here trying to establish their strength to work through that so i feel like someone has had a, a wrong perspective moving forward and i feel like they're realizing that now higher from king of pentacles in reverse someone here has turned down an opportunity eight pentacles this is clarifying eight pentacles so there is work that is necessary but someone here is not confident enough in their beliefs so although there's work that's necessary in order to change this with this nine of swords being the outcome here and the strength right before that someone has a strength has to have the strength to overcome their anxiety so this might have been a um defense mechanism someone may have been like money over bitches because they were afraid of the bitch so we got tower here in the ten of swords five of wands four of wands here so I feel like all of a sudden someone is making some sort of plans. Tower here, making plans to abandon success of what? Seven of Cups of options. So someone has been dealing with a lot of options. This could be even with the King of Wands, like I said, is a snake charm. They could be going through this ascension, um, going through this awakening, okay? Um, seeing things very clearly, very quickly. And I feel like with this um, strength here, which, no, no, no. With this tower and this ten of, of swords, so all of a sudden someone's going, going to be ending some sort of, tu what is it, turbulent cycle. Um, maybe having a lot of options here. Walking, someone's walking away from a from a, a bunch of options. or walking away from being confused. Sun energy in reverse. Yeah, someone didn't see something clearly. So I feel like now someone is trying to find the strength to overcome the anxiety. Two of Pentacles here. Bring harmonious change. Bring balance to a situation. Someone's trying to balance out their ego and their higher self. So I feel like again, someone's seeing judgment. Someone's going through an awakening. Someone knows that they have to either heal or someone knows that they have a severed connection or someone could know that they broke someone's heart. So why is this Nine of Swords here? Why is this Nine of Swords here? Why is this Nine of Swords here? We got the Emperor here. So someone here is trying to gain control of their own mind, gain control of their own anxieties. Yes, Emperor here. Someone here is trying to... I feel like if there's a waking up that's happening, but someone here is trying to stay in control of their own thoughts, of their own anxieties. Three, three swords minus nine swords and six swords. So someone here wants to move toward peace of mind, wants to balance out their mentality where it was once imbalanced. Um, Page of Pentacles here. I feel like the, it requires effort. The bottom line is it requires effort. So although 
someone knows they have to heal, someone knows they have to sever connection, they may be in suspension at the moment trying to, I feel like recover for some of you guys. Why is that hangman underneath there? Why is that hangman underneath there? High Priestess here. Yes, yeah, someone's trying to recover. Five of Swords here. High Priestess. Someone knows that they made a wrong decision. So someone knows that they made a wrong decision. They're trying to recover. Um, maybe even trying to save face <laughs> a little bit. What what guidance do we have for the collective? We have love. So this is definitely about love. I know what I'll be talking about. I don't see love on the... On, I don't see nothing but money. But that's the, that's the devil. For some of you guys, someone's dealing with lower vibration energy and it's associated with their money not saying that money is low vibration but i feel like their their perspective on money as opposed to the other things in their life is what's creating this sort of challenge for them um emotionally and it has caused them to make the wrong decisions so love some people just love love whether it be a chemical reaction or the stuff of fairy tales most of us just can't get enough spirit suggests now is the time to align with the true nature of love love is an energy that comes from within you are love never look in, never look externally for what has always been you i'm gonna have to fix that because <laughs> i mean all my copies say that <laughs> it say internally but it, it was supposed to say externally what guidance do we have for the collective moving forward God damn, so we're going to take the one that fell upright on the table. Some of you guys, I saw shadows. Some of you guys are dealing with your shadow self movement. You're moving through the dark sides of yourself. Some of you guys are moving through your feelings. And it may not feel... Yeah, you probably don't like it. More than likely, you don't like it. Sovereign here, the sovereign. So let's read what we have for the sovereign. All right. One eleven, new start, taking a leadership role in your life. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, the sovereign. The sovereign card invites us to activate the leader. I'm good, y'all. <laughs> Visionary and enthusiast within us. It is a time to welcome in passion and fire while creating structure that allows for you to nurture your dreams. Sovereign creates a container which allows for growth within themselves and others. They approach situations with a no bullshit attitude and may have come across as harsh to some people. Their strong boundaries and opinions may even be intimidating to others, but in reality, it is their way of nurturing. They have no interest in appeasing others simply to keep them comfortable. They will continue to push those around them so that they can grow. The Sovereign also calls us to create structure. From a place of structure, the Sovereign knows that life runs more smoothly, allowing, the allowing for the manifestation of true success, security, and happiness. Where in your life do you continually find chaos? Where, where are your energy and resources getting sapped? The Sovereign invites you to examine those situations practically and cut out what is no longer serving you. This is not a time for being sentimental or, no, or nostalgic. The Sovereign is realistic about what is needed and gets it done. Knowing that makes room for true peace. The Balanced Sovereign is a leader that belongs only to themselves. They are in service of others by choice and their method of leading is empowering others. Uh, is in empowering others. That's what it says. They are strong and know just how capable they are. They will claim their space without hesitation, inviting others around them to do the same. An unbalanced sovereign may become domineering. They can become too controlling and boundaried, not creating space for emotional connections or softness with those in their life. They fear not being in control and in turn may lash out at those around them and micromanage everything their loved ones do. So for some of you guys, this is where your energy is because this is what the fuck I see. Some of you guys have been so much trying to control your life, control where you feel like the direction of your life is supposed to go. Knight of Swords came, I don't know how. It, this was underneath, but it fell off and then I seen the Knight of Swords. So some of you guys, you had a lot of plans made, but now your perspective has changed because you're seeing that the restrictions you place on yourself have created a box for you you cannot grow because you've not allowed yourself to you've only allowed yourself to fuck bitches give money and now that's all you can do until you choose to change take yourself out of suspension and release that shit so that you can fully grow and fully mature into the spiritual being that you're meant to be some of you guys have been acting out your motherfucking ego and it's funny to me because i just did a post about this but some of you guys have been acting out your fucking ego and it's time to let that shit go 
you have a higher purpose. You are a leader, and you cannot be leading your people into damnation. Okay? Don't make me preach to you. This is all I have. Until next time.